Right, here's a fix for your boiler pump not pumping very efficiently. So this one I'm going to fix is a Wilo sort. Um, it's applicable to lots of different sorts. For instance, over there is a Grunfoss one. But uh, they're all pretty much the same. They have the AC motor. It's actually internally it's a three-phase AC motor. But to get the three phases out of two phases from your main supply. You have an AC capacitor, and like a lot of these AC motors, it's the capacitor that eventually fails over time. This one's about 10 years old, and instead of being two microfarad capacitance value, it's 0.7. As a result, there's less current flowing to the motor, it runs a lot slower. Um, if it was on your boiler, you probably notice that your boiler keeps cutting in and out, it's not able to get rid of the heat it's generating. The, maybe the furthest radiator in your house is a little bit colder and stays colder for a lot longer compared to the nearer ones. Um, on this, this pump is part of what's called a ladder mat, which is a system used for wood burning stoves, where it basically circulates the water around the stove until it gets to about 50 degrees, the thermostat opens up, circulates it to the rest of the house. This pump is used to do the circulating, exactly the same as a central heating pump. So a bit of hacking you can see I've done here. Uh, took the top off, which you have to pry this off a little clip and lever it off on this particular design. Probably uh, other ones you might have a little screw on the top or something. Um, before you start doing anything, turn it off in the main. So there's my isolating switch up there. Uh, when I did this, basically cutting the two wires, putting a terminal block on there, screw terminal. Had it all turned off, so there's no risk of electric shock. Can't emphasize enough that um, be very careful with mains electricity because uh, it is, uh, well, they say it's deadly, can give you a very nasty electric shock. So, with the original capacitor on there, just about, yeah, you can hear it with no capacitor, not very much. With the original capacitor on there, only just about here running if I get close to it little bit of a humming noise. Now, as I say, that was 0.7 microfarads. That's the value of capacitance. Originally it was two. Bought a brand new two microfarad one here. Gonna mount that externally. Reasons for that I'll come to in a minute. So if I now swap over from the old one to the new one, and I'm pretty experienced at uh, handling wires and electricity. This is currently all live, just so I can demonstrate the effect. So, if I disconnect this capacitor, you'll hear the motor go a lot, lot quieter. And then I'll reconnect this new capacitor and hopefully you'll hear it getting back to normal, a, a noisier and therefore a faster, more powerful speed, powerful motor. All right, let's listen up. Off. connected. Hopefully you can hear it's running a lot more powerfully and a lot faster and therefore the water will be circulating quicker and dissipating the heat from your either your boiler or in this particular case the wood burning stove kept overheating various other safety systems get cutting all the time it's got very annoying so hopefully this will fix it. Now I did notice if we put on the original capacitor, 0.7 value. Again, a lot quieter, a lot weaker. We have that at the same time as the new one. And it's actually even more powerful. Uh, so you could put a 2.5 microfarad on in this particular case, which may give it a bit more oomph. Now you can just see that difference again. I take off the old one, put on the new one. Way shut in place, stay there. And then we'll add, to, and I've measured this capacitance, and it was actually two microfarads. Then we reconnect another 0.7, you listen to it getting even more powerful. Off, on, a little bit more power, even still. So uh, yeah, I might actually leave two capacitors on there. Uh, the total capacitor is only 2.7 microfarads, which allows a little bit of room for degradation over time. 
Uh, I think the problem with uh, the original capacitor, why it degraded so much over, I think, about 10 years, is this gets very hot. So the temperature of the log burning stove goes up to about 80 or 85 degrees centigrade on occasion. And of course, temperature degrades things, ages things even faster. Uh, so, yeah, I just have to refit everything again. When you take it all apart, you have to be careful of the speed switch. So when you first take it off, the contact switch for it will be in this bit, that piece of black plastic. It's attached to that red piece there. And that little terminal inside does the connecting uh, across the terminal. So watch out that doesn't fall off. I just temporarily got it in place here. When I put it on the lower speeds, you could hardly even hear it uh, turning at all. Um, so hopefully now it should be a lot better. Um, so all we've got to do is put it back together again. I'm going to have this capacitor external so it won't be exposed to such high temperatures. Just put it out these out of the way, out the side of the installation somewhere. And so that's it. So that new capacitor costs about six, seven pounds, including delivery. So a lot cheaper than getting a new pump or even a new ladder mat. So I'm pretty sure if a plumber came around and um, wanted to fix this, he'd probably replace the whole ladder mat. This thing is a cost of 500 pounds. Uh, pump itself anywhere up to, uh, well, between 50 pounds second hand and 250 for a new one. Um, then you've got to make sure also, of course, the impeller on the end of this pump is suitable for this ladder mat system. So that might possibly be tricky as well. So a normal plumber would probably charge you £500 just for the parts and probably the same again for the labour of replacing it. So well worth doing it yourself. Um, just be careful you turn off the mains when you're adjusting things. Get a multimeter to measure the capacitance of it. Very common on uh, AC motors that it's the capacitor that ages with time and is the problem. So uh, yeah, hopefully I'll fix your central heating very, very low cost. All right, that's the capacitor fitted in with the terminal block and the cable for the external new capacitor like that. Uh, that cable is double insulated and capacitor is insulated. So I believe that meets regulations for electrical safety. Um, and I assume you're allowed to do these sort of things yourself for as long as it's the other side of a fused spur or plug. Uh, somebody will no doubt tell me if we're not allowed to do these sort of things because there are various regulations uh, and what you're allowed to do. But under um, regulations on right to repair, hopefully you're allowed to do this because uh, it saves a lot of money and also a lot of time. So when you're putting back the uh, speed switch, make sure it's aligned up like it was originally. I think it's easier to put the black piece of plastic back on the red piece of plastic like so. And then we just have to get the front on first, I think. Wheel and squeeze it on, I believe. Get the other side on. I think I'll have to do this two-handed, so uh, we'll just put the camera down for a minute. And let's cover back on and just change the speed control to make sure it goes into those three speed positions and it clicks when it does so. So it's not fouling on anything. That's on nicely. That we can strap up somewhere out of the way and out of the heat later on. So I'll turn on the electric again and check it's working. Yeah, you can hear it pumping. Try three different speeds this time because, as I say before, on speed two and one, you couldn't really hear anything. Can I hear it still moving? Not that much on one. No, you can hear it moving, just very slowly. Hard, I don't know whether it's coming out on the camera or not. Two, you can certainly hear quite easily from this distance. And three, definitely. So I'm pretty sure it's a lot more powerful. Uh, I suppose one other double check thing you should do is make sure you can get any air locks in the pump. So you undo this, make sure there's no air bubbles coming out. Just a few dribbles of water and do that up again. But if you've got air in the pump, it will uh, fizz for a little bit with air bubbles bubbling out. Uh, just do that for a bit with a rag underneath till that clears. 
and that is that. So this is what a ladder mount normally looks like with your three temperature gauges for a log burning stove. You have the temperature coming from the stove. You have the return in this case from our radiator circuit or hot water circuit. And this is the return going to the stove. So the fire isn't lit at the moment, so it's all just room temperature. And now with the log burner generating lots and lots of heat. Dog's enjoying it then it no longer sets off the over temperature alarm like it did last night when the pump wasn't working so well. And the temperature difference between the heat that's coming out of the stove and the heat that's going back into the stove is certainly less than 10 degrees. Um, it's 65 or so at the moment because it's actually heating the hot water. So, and the hot water is already quite hot. When the hot water gets to about 60, then it'll switch over to the central heating system, uh, which will obviously have cooler water coming in and cooler water going back out to the stove. So I'm pretty confident that this temperature of the stove shouldn't go above 70, which is way off the, uh, the limits of the stove and uh, shouldn't be setting off the over temperature alarm like it was last night. So that's all working quite nicely. And one of these days I might even go into detail about how to connect your log burner with the water jacket with the back burner into your existing central heating system. Timing is rather complicated, the control system is rather complicated, but it is doable at uh, not too bad a cost, uh, apart from maybe uh, that ladder map, a 500 pound one. Uh, the rest of it I built myself in terms of the control units, uh, quite reliable all made out of uh, lots of different relays and lots of sensors. And that's the subject for another video maybe. And there it is, all finished off, job done. Thanks for watching, bye.